Welcome back guys. I see a lot of enthusiasm around implementation of RX15, RX15 uh, for iOS development. So continuing on where we had left uh, in the last tutorial, where we had just loaded uh, the to-do items using Alamo Fire from an API service. So I have extended it to a little more extent and it's showing a little, uh, some more data. So today's intention is to include a search feature. So when you swipe it down, you find the search bar where you can search for a to-do item and then uh, do that. But we will be using RF Swift uh, to you do that. So let's get started. So for including a search, first we have to have uh, a search search uh, controller. So let's include and have a little bit of snippet available already. So let's invoke that. So that's my UI search controller. So it has some basic stuff uh, for initializing. So let me call it uh, search controller. So you can set uh, background during presentation set to fit bar style i have made it to, to some default one which i have which i'm already using maybe i'll add, add some one more thing called uh, <clears throat> placeholder so that i can just show that i'm searching for to do's so that's about it of uh, creating a search controller so to use that Let's go to our uh, table view. So let me include that over here. Table view items. Dot. Uh, I'll have it as a header view. So that is my. So table header view will be the search bar. So with this done, we will start seeing the search bar now. So let's run the app and see that. So you can see that I have the search already available. So let me just also add an offset so that it does not appear all the time. So to add an offset, contain offset, all I have to do is what does it take? So it needs an x and y let the x be 0 and y be the let's extend this let's call this search bar extract that use it here as well as pick the frame size and set the height so this should be Fine to can set the content offset now when you run it you should not see that uh, the search bar <laughs> so it's pretty fine now like when you swipe down you will receive it so now the intention is to bind uh, the view model to make the search happen and the filter to happen on this so for that we need a couple of things let's go to our view model first thing let's start with binding so search bar as such has reactive extensions available so what we need to do is get the text and then let's start doing stuff on it like uh, this will convert it to a string from from the optional string and you also make sure that uh, we will have distinct values once that's done let's bind it to a property so bind has options to bind it with the variable string 
So we need a variable string created on our view model. So let's go back to our view model. So that's my to do item view model. It has a presentable. Let me create that here. We call it search value and make it a variable type of string. And then have it instantiated uh, in the view model. That's done now. So we have a variable available in the view model which can be bound. So all I need to do is call the view model dot uh, the property, the search value. That should be fine. Maybe ask it, yeah, ask it to be converted to option, from optional to the string type. So variable string is now bound. Now let's go with the disposed disposed back. So now we are pretty much good on this. Let's also add in debug and see whether we are we are listening to or getting those changes whenever there is a text change happening. Let's call the debug. Should be before this. So binding is done. It's done. Keep it clean. Invoke our search bar. So you can see that the events are getting transmitted. So every time we are so that's pretty much ready now let's go back and go to our view model so you have the search bar view model so this view model has to start listening to these changes so let's go to our view model so for the search value let me just create an observer So I am listening to string changes. Then let's bind it uh, or call the as observable of the search value. This should be fine now. So the only thing that I need to do is to subscribe to the changes here. Or uh, yeah, and subscribe on next. So I should start receiving the value here. Let's get rid of all this. Dispose. I don't have a dispose bag. Let's create one. <coughs> so let's print that and see. Search value received. <coughs> okay. So as you can see that it's being received now in the view model. So everything pretty good until now. Let's keep working on what we are doing. So now the intention is to filter the array items collection and then rebind uh, the table view with the filtered item. So let's just do that. Let's start building on the observable. Let's create one more observable for 
items observer that's our source item view model observer which will have a type of to do view presentable and let's bind it to the items observer so here within this one let's call filter on this so I have the items observable okay even before that uh, I need to get individual items of the observable set so let's start with mapping so this will give me an array apply a filter on it each item so let me just write it down whole thing and then we explain it better so that's my array okay we needs a uh, little formatting okay so filter is expecting a return value so first thing that we need to do is if the value received is empty then you will return true so that means whenever the value there is no value in the search we will not filter out the result else we will do a return on so the first thing here is issue so this looks to be okay let's format and then okay, okay looks good so step wise these are the things happening so I have the subscription on the value for each of the value received when a search is happening that will be received here and on the items observable which is the observable on the items collection I map on to each of the items and then filter based on the text so we are trying to search for the items using the, uh, the text value and whenever it encounters it it filters out so this this will this map and the filter will give me an array of observables of this type which is already filtered so all I need to do is to bind it bind it with any of these so I can create a variable to do so this should be our filter array so we cannot directly map uh, our source array and replace it because that we will lose our source then so the better thing to do is to create a filtered variable array and use that uh, for binding with the uh, table view so that will become our data source now so let's create that now let's call it filter items pretty much the same thing but you'll use it only for filtering out but this will become the actual data source for our uh, mm -hmm. table table view now filter items observable again the same stuff and j 
just the difference being that in items become filter items so this is an observable observable on the filter items so whatever is expected here to be bound is the filter items so so this will pretty much filter the observable items collection based on the filter applied and uh, bind it with the filter items and let's set this post by this post back it's pretty easy isn't it you know what we are trying to do here so I guess this is straightforward so let's see this working before that we need to go back to the view controller and change the data source here so instead of the view model at items we have to pass the filter items so that's what is getting bound now so let's do a test invoke the search bar you can see it's working now as expected so that's pretty much it simple as this and uh, that's how you implement uh, a search fe feature in table view using rx swift so some of the changes i'm going to do for the upcoming tutorials are as per a suggestion or even something which I had planned to do is to move this to do item add feature to a separate screen so that we can start looking at how to implement a coordinator pattern with MVVM which is not yet touched upon so that's one some of one of the things that uh, is coming up in the uh, in the future tutorial and while doing a delete, uh, I had identified an issue here. This is something I thought is a bug happening in uh, Realm notification. But then when I went through their documentation, they revealed uh, something interesting on delete. So if I can just show it again, so if I have, uh, let's say, an delete happening, we will get the notifications. Because we are using a modification, like we're doing a soft delete first, and then a hard delete. So soft delete is already done, but then it triggers a chain set on delete couple of them like on insertion you get an index of 2 which is the index where we deleted the item but we also get uh, this is the right one too but we also get something of an index 6 so we have uh, triggered uh, with the delete triggered um, delete has triggered a couple of notifications here combined together like an insertion and deletion one insertion two deletions actually as per the documentation or uh, their realm design whatever happens is whenever an item gets deleted the uh, the last item gets inserted uh, at that index wherever that delete happened that's the reason we are getting to um, two notifications so item at two got deleted and the item at six also got deleted but that got inserted at item two again that's why these in insertions happened so i was worried about a, a bug in rx but it's not actually a bug it's as per their design so i need to find a solution for this and that will be available in the upcoming tutorial so until then Bye.